now next point that is d type point group the meaning of d type point group is a molecule with cn principal axis and n number of c2 axis perpendicular to cn belongs to d type of point group here most important requirement for d type of point group is in a molecule there must be cn principal axis and n number of c2 secondary axis perpendicular to cn principal axis then and then only in molecule or we say that molecule belongs to d type of point group for example molecule may contain dn point group in that molecule there will be cn principal axis and n number of c2 axis perpendicular to perpendicular to cn and order of this point group is equal to 2n that is there are 2n number of elements and example of dn point group is d3 in d3 point group there must be c3 principal axis and 3 c2 secondary axis right angle to c3 principal axis and skew ethane belongs to d3 type of point group you know ethane uh, conformational isomers of ethane it may be staggered conformation eclipsed co conformation or skew ethane the skew ethane in skew ethane there is one c3 principal axis and there are three c2 secondary axis right angle to c3 principal axis and therefore skew ethane belongs to d3 point group another example of d type of point group is dnh point group dnh point group means in a molecule there is a cn principal axis and n number of c2 secondary axis perpendicular to cn and additionally there is a horizontal plane that is sigma h if this condition is fulfilled by a particular molecule then that molecule belongs to cnh point group additionally you you, uh, you can focus on this sigma h that is horizontal plane what is the difference between dn and dnh point group in dnh point group additionally there is a horizontal plane order of this point group it is given by h is equal to 4n that is there are 4n number of elements or symmetry operations and the examples of dnh point groups are d3h and d3h example of this d3h is boron trichloride in boron trichloride there is a d3h point group or D boron trichloride belongs to d3h point group whereas hydrogen belongs to d infinity h point group now what is the meaning of d3h point group there must be c3 principal axis 3 c2 secondary axis right angle to c3 principal axis and a horizontal plane which is right angle to principal axis now what is the meaning of d infinity h point group in a molecule th there must be c infinity principal axis there are infinity number of c2 secondary axis right angle to c3 c infinity principal axis and a horizontal plane which is also right angle to the c infinity principal axis and its example is hydrogen third example is d and d point group in d and d point group there is a c3 sorry cn principal axis and n number of c2 secondary axis right angle to cn principal axis and there is a dihedral plane that is sigma d plane so additionally this molecule contain or d and d point group contain dihedral plane now in addition to dihedral plane molecule may contain sigma v centrop inversion or 
improper rotational axis of symmetry or other elements as well but prime requirement for d and d point group is there must be c n principal axis n number of c2 axis right angle to cn and a dihedral plane total number of elements or operations symmetry operations possible for d and d point group are equal to 4n so h is equal to 4n and example is d 3 d staggered conformation of ethane belongs to d 3 d point group so this is about the three types of uh, d type of point group that is d n d n h and d n d now first of all d n h point group a molecule with cn principal axis and n number of c2 secondary axis perpendicular to cn and a horizontal plane belongs to dnh point group so in addition to this molecule may contain sigma v that is a vertical plane center of inversion or improper rotational axis of symmetry but for dnh point group the prime requirement is there must be cn principal axis n number of c2 secondary axis perpendicular to cn principal axis and a horizontal plane so these are the prime requirement again in a molecule if there is a cn principal axis and the value of n is odd maybe 1 3 5 like that then that molecule may contain improper rotational axis that is sn and if value of n is even that is when order of axis is even 2 4 like that then the molecule may contain center of inversion or center of symmetry i and the examples of d n h point group are d 3 h and d infinity h now we are going to discuss in detail about d 3 h point group which is a uh, example of this point group is boron trichloride what is the meaning of d3h point group already I, you know when the molecule contain c3 principal axis 3 c2 secondary axis perpendicular to c3 principal axis and a horizontal plane right angle to principal axis then the molecule said to belong to d3 h point group in addition to c3 principal axis c2 secondary axis and sigma h molecule may contain vertical planes also or center of inversion also actually here value of n is odd and therefore there is a improper rotational axis of symmetry example of this d3 h is boron trichloride you know boron trichloride is a trigonal planar molecule because boron undergoes sp2 hybridization and there are three chlorine atoms attached to boron angle between chlorine boron and chlorine it is 120 degree these three chlorine atoms are same but in order to recognize three chlorine atoms attached to boron they are marked as a b and c now consider axis passing through this boron which is right angle to the plane of this molecule you know this boron trichloride is a planar molecule all the bonds and all the four atoms they are oriented along the same plane and this c3 principal axis it is right angle to the plane of molecule why this is c3 principal axis because along this axis when molecule is rotated through 120 degree then chlorine a takes the position of chlorine b chlorine b takes position of chlorine c and chlorine c will shift to chlorine a the overall orientation of molecule will be the same and we get a equivalent structure so after second rotation again we get a equivalent structure and after third structure we get a identical structure so in this way along the c3 axis when molecule is rotated through 120 degree 
for three times we are getting identical molecule that is all the a b and c chlorine atoms they will be at the same position that was at initial stage so this is the c3 principal axis now consider this c2 axis it is a secondary axis it is right angle to c3 principal axis now along this c2 prince uh, c2 secondary axis when molecule is rotated through 180 degree then there will be exchange of chlorine of chlorine a and chlorine c chlorine c will take a position of chlorine a and chlorine a will take a position of chlorine c and chlorine b it will be at the same position and we get a equivalent structure and therefore this is the c2 secondary axis first c2 secondary axis so here is the second c2 secondary axis which is passing through boron and chlorine c along this c2 axis when molecule is rotated through again 180 degree we get a equal structure just there is a exchange between chlorine b and chlorine a similarly this is second or sorry third c2 secondary axis along this axis when molecule is rotated through again 180 degree there is a exchange between chlorine b and chlorine c and we get a equal structure so in this way there are three c2 secondary axis and therefore this molecule belongs to d type of point group additionally you imagine the plane which is passing through all the atoms this is the horizontal plane why horizontal plane because it is right angle to c3 principal axis and therefore this is a horizontal plane and this molecule fulfills all the conditions of d3 h point group that is there is a c3 principal axis there are three c2 secondary axis right angle to c3 principal axis and there is a horizontal plane which is right angle to c3 principal axis along this horizontal plane when molecule is reflected we get a equivalent structure or identical structure additionally there are three vertical planes also this is one vertical plane passing through boron and chlorine c this is second vertical plane <coughs> passing through boron and chlorine b this is the third vertical plane passing through boron and chlorine a so vertical planes are also there now what is the order of point group h is equal to 4n so value of n is 3 so 4 threes are 12 so it means there are total 12 elements or symmetry operations and which are the possible symmetry elements or symmetry operations first operation is c3 1 that is the first rotation through 120 degree then c3 2 it means second rotation through 120 degree and c3 3 is a identity after third rotation along the c3 axis we get a equal structure that is identical structure that is identity similarly there are three c2 secondary axis then there is a horizontal plane sigma h there are three vertical planes and there are two improper rotational axis so in this way there are total 12 elements that is c3 1 c3 2 identity so these three plus three c2 secondary axis that is 3 plus 3 6 one horizontal plane that is 7 3 vertical planes 7 plus 3 10 and two improper rotational axis so 10 plus 2 that is 12 so all together there are 12 elements or 12 symmetry operations and this is about the d3h point group in boron trichloride so in next video we are going to discuss about the possible uh, c3 operations of d3h point group and operations for c2 axis of symmetry